Welcome back to our YouTube channel. Um, welcome back. Thanks for tuning in to our new episode of our lives. And today we're going to be doing a Q&A slash mukbang keto style. We're going to be answering the, the we're going to be answering some of y'all's questions and whoever, fuck. Whoever asked us questions on our Instagram story, I love you guys. Because everyone else who saw it didn't say anything, fuck you. Okay, but well, three of y'all asked how I we I think met. like four. Four people. Oh, no, well, one of them was how did we Where No, did I, we know, I know, I know, I know. I swear there was one. Oh, maybe, okay, yeah. Three, maybe, maybe. Three but a lot of people you guys asked. asked the same question. Mm -hmm. And we're going to start off. What was that question? All right. So how we met? We met on Tinder. On Tinder, <laughs> yeah. No, actually, we met on. We met on Snapchat. No, well, we met. We met through a family friend. Through, <laughs> through my cousin. Through my cousin Edwin. <laughs> but yeah, Edwin. Um, thanks. Thanks for. Giving me this toxic ass Snapchat. Now I'm stuck with it forever, sadly, and I hate my life. Yeah? Yeah. You hate your life? No, I mean, I love my life. Okay, good. But yeah, um, we. We met because I was. Hold up. Sorry. We met because I used to go to I used to go to school with his cousin, and we had ourselves on we had we had each other on Snapchat for a while, and I posted something and I'm not gonna say it on here. Yeah. I posted something, and it caught Meadow's eye, and nothing inappropriate about me. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but it wasn't. um, it wasn't. I promise. He really liked it and wanted to add me on Snapchat, and that's what happened. But we didn't really talk to each other. For the fattest minute, I think it was like. No, we did. I I swear I texted you, boom, ASAP. Right I texted away? her right away, bro. Well, we'll see right now. She did not text me, but now nah, she did. Hold up. When 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 did you when did we add each other? 2017. June 6 of 2017. You were right. June 6 of 2017. Yeah. I remember that day. I remember mm -hmm. the day the night we met. We talked. The, our first conversation. Yeah, it, I was living in Jessica's house. And I was living in Colorado at the time, and I was in my rebellious era. So the reason we texted that night was because I posted something. I posted me going out for a swim with some of my friends at two in the morning, and he commented, I have no idea what it was. He commented- You were out at 2 a.m.? Yeah. Wow. 2 a.m. 2 a.m., wow, okay. But yeah, I texted her, and we were talking, and she was an asshole to me, guys. She was rude. To be fair, I was like that to all the guys. I didn't give a fuck. I was so cocky when I was younger. Yeah, but I'm not. Other guys. I'm yeah, Mito. Yeah. I'm Mito. Anyways. He tried flirting with me. And... When he found out that I was going to move to color to Utah. When he found out I was going to move back to mm, Utah. Wait. Before that, what? Remember? What? I asked her where she was from, and <laughs> she said she was from Pueblo, Colorado, right? No, where I live. Where Where did she live? Yeah, where she lived. No, oh, from there the fuck. Sorry, where she lived, and she was, she said Pueblo, and I thought Puebla, like, Puebla, Mexico, and I'm like, what the fuck? But yeah. He's like, she's a whole ass paisa. Literally. Oh okay. Fucking beans. Anyways, um, yeah, and then when I told him that I was moving to Utah, he did not I got up, stop. I got up and started jumping with excitement. <laughs> he but did yeah. do that. Just kidding. Yeah. But yeah, he did not stop flirting with me. Like, out of all the dudes I texted, like, his, his flirting game was the longest. He did not stop flirting. And bring, that brings us to our next question. Someone asked, where did we meet? This is so cute. So, um, 
I moved to Utah and I had no friends. I moved to Utah um, for my freshman year and I had no friends and Miro invited me to, um, what is it? A haunted house. Miro invited me to, no, but what is it called? Nightmare. Nightmare. And he invited me to Nightmare and it was on Friday the 13th. Yeah. And I'm like, oh, this is a special day for me. Like I had such a good, I had a good day that day. And I'm like, I'm gonna go to my very first haunted house with this dude. But like, he was just a friend to me, you know, like, I don't give a fuck. And then it was like a big <laughs> ass group of us, huh? It was like a whole there ass. Was, there was 11 of us. No, 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 no. There was, there was nine of us. There was nine of us. We all had a pair. Boom, 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 boom. And the one person that didn't was Edwin. <laughs> I'm sorry, Edwin. I'm really sorry. But now look at you. Huh? Um, we were we were supposed to all take a picture, I think, but they split it us up. Oh yeah, they did, huh? And we took a picture together alone. Yeah. And Mita looked so awkward in that picture. I wish I could just like edit a picture, like right there. We'll post it on our Instagram. Cause I am awkward, guys. We'll post it on our Instagram. I'm awkward and shy. But yeah. YOLO for twenty. I don't like this lighting. Okay, anyways. Um, yeah, we met there. Um, it was kind of fun. It was a fun night. And then we kind of like semi started hanging out slowly because my quinceanera was coming up. And like I said, I had no friends. And Miro. Mm -mm. I helped you move. Oh, yeah. Miro helped me move houses. And my 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 dad was the only like... The only guy, like, the only one that could fucking move shit. And I was like, oh, I don't want to tell my parents that I'm talking to boys. Because my parents were strict. But they were like, we need someone to help. And I'm like, I have a friend who can help. And I texted me, I'm like, hey, um, can you help us move out? And I was in the process of putting grass on my uncle's yard. Lawn. Lawn. But yeah. It's not me farting, guys. I promise. We were there. We were there. We were there all morning. I was there. It was super hot. There was a lot of us grassing it up. And then she texted me, and I'm like, bro. I told my uncle, I got a dip for that reason. And he's like, oh, yeah, that's fine. Because there was like 20 other people now helping. The whole neighborhood helped. And then I texted Edwin. Shout out Edwin again. Ah, Edwin. <laughs> Hallelujah. I love you. Um, I texted him to come with me to help me because... I was, I'm awkward and scary. I'm scary. I'm not scary. He's scared. I was scared. I am scary. I'm not scared. But <laughs> yeah, she, um, we went over there. We got there right away. It was me and Valerie's dad and we grabbed the couch. We were, we were walking out the door while Edwin was behind us. It was a pillow. This says, Jesus, I'm sorry, Edwin. <laughs> It looks like I'm talking shit on you. I'm not, though, but <laughs> you had a little pillow. But, yeah, that was that. And then, and then, my mom was like, oh, I don't know how to repay you guys. Like, we're broke right now. Like, when we get paid next week, we'll, inv we'll invite you guys to a, to, uh, to a carne asada here at the house. Mm, fire. So... That was our first date, actually, because when like my whole process, I think it was was it before? Did we go to West Fest before you helped me move out? Mm -hmm. Oh. Mm -hmm. It was it was like even days before because your mom was like, your parents were like, we're never gonna let you go out with them ever again because oh. I took her home like at eleven thirty p.m. <laughs> and they're like, we're never gonna let you go out with them with them ever again. <laughs> I remember the next few days, yeah. they needed help moving in. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, I remember that. But it wasn't like when he invited me to the fair, to the west, to the fairs, it wasn't really a date. I mean, was this supposed to be a date? I don't think it was. I wasn't, I was like kind of like catching feelings for him, but not really. Yeah, she was. She I was, was still, madly was in, in love with me. I'm even bad. <laughs> Anyways, um, 
What the fuck was I talking about? Um, the carnasa. Oh, okay. So my mom was like, I'm going to invite you guys next week for the carnasada. And then that, no, no, no. The moving day, I think it was. Because my mom's like, here's $5. Go we'll get y'all some pizza. Well, he, she gave us like a few dollars. She gave us somebody to go get some pizza. Little Caesar's pizza. We got pizza after the move, like same day for moving in. We were just there eating pizza. And I was like, oh, damn. I look he like this guy. He was really cute. And to top it all off, I was Snapchatting one of my friends from Colorado. And <laughs> all right. I was Snapchatting one of my friends from Colorado. She was like, he's cute. And I'm like, I know, huh? And I'm like, this fucking bitch. She can't fucking. And she had him on Snapchat too. I'm like, mm -hmm. so then I'm like, okay, then I have a better opportunity, you know? But yeah, I was like madly in love with him at the time. Now I'm fucking miserable. I'm just kidding. I love him. Boo hoo. Anyways, but, go on. But yeah, no, no, go on, go on, go on. I don't know what I was gonna say. Move on. But yeah, we, we went with him and I took you. When we had our first kiss. <laughs> Another question was, when was our first kiss? Shut the freak up! <laughs> okay, okay. That was one of the questions. That's a funny story, guys. Take the floor, Valley Rosie. Okay. So, in one of our dates, he took me to Jamba Juice. And it was a cute little day. And, like, we kind of knew, like, we were going to kiss, you know? Like, we are like you know, kind of preparing for this moment. And we got our Jamba Juice or whatever, and then we went to the parking, this was like in a mall parking lot. And, <laughs> I don't know, we were oh. just both really nervous. Yeah. Know. You you tell you part of the story, I don't fucking know. Uh, yeah, Aww. we were. I miss those days. Yeah, I was, was nervous. Cute. We were in the Yukon. Oh, rest the Yukon. Peace, Yukon. Well, not yeah. rest in peace, it's still living, but it's out there somewhere. Yeah. But yeah. We had our first kiss at a parking lot in Jamba Juice because our date, my date, our that date apparently, it was a date I guess, but I was taking her, I'm just kidding, it was a date. It was a date. It was a date, but the date was me taking her to another date. <laughs> yeah. Believe, what the fuck? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, I was like, yeah, I'm gonna go to the movies really quick, I'm gonna go to the movies with a friend. And he deadass dropped me off in front of the, like, in the movie theaters. And the dude that I was hanging going out on, with that day. Going on a date with? <laughs> was right there, too. And he's like, when he dropped me off, he's like, who's that? And I'm like, oh, he's just my cousin. <laughs> you did not. You didn't tell me. You lied. You fucking lied to me, bruh. <laughs> what you, did I say? You told me. You told me you told him a friend. Oh, a friend. Damn, nah, a friend, you're a liar. A friend, a friend, friend. Guys, we're breaking up. I'm sorry. Next video is our breakup video, for sure. Breaking up. I'm sorry. Anyways. Oh, let me put Garbage. myself. Stop. Let me, let me get myself together. But yeah, he took me to my my other date mm -hmm. i think we, we want to go watch jurassic world no mm -hmm. okay oh you know question with jurassic that one <laughs> all right this question we actually got it from another youtuber that's bigger than us of course of course they're gonna be bigger than us but he asked for a collaboration, bro. He asked us to collaborate with him. That's super exciting. Um, the answer is yes. We'll collaborate with you, but you got to tell us when you want to collaborate. Yeah. Shout him out. Shout him out. You know who you are. Big Sweaty. Keep on down low. You guys will see him. We're going to keep him um, underground for a bit. Yeah, because you guys will see who it is later on in the episode. In the episode, in one of our shows, whatever. One of our videos. But yeah, that's that. Oh, this one's a good question. 
Well, all right. Another question was, what were your first impressions of each other? My impression, my first impression of Valley, that she fucking talked so fucking much. She was just you know, yakking and yakking and having, talking and talking and talking. And I'm super shy. And I was like, yeah, huh? No. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe. <true. laughs> oh, yeah. And she's like, oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. I'm talking so much. Oh, my gosh. I feel like I'm talking so much. But, yeah. But then. And I was like, oh, yeah. my God. And then. That, that Halloween, right? I mean, Friday the 13th. She was grabbing my fucking titty. Yes. Ripping it. So I'm like, oh, my gosh. This girl's going to give me, like, breast titty cancer, bro. <laughs> But yeah, that was my first impression of Valley Rose. My first impression of Mito before I met him, like, IRL, was, dude, like, he's a bicep. I can't even pronounce his name because his Snapchat name is Mito69er. And I'm like, what the fuck is his name? Like, Mito? Like, just Mito? And I, it was so embarrassing to ask him what his name was. I don't even think... I don't even think I asked him. I think I asked one of his cousins what his name it was. I don't remember, but I don't, I did not know your name. Wow. Yeah, for a, a, for the first I'm like offended. three months. For the first three months, and I'm like, bro, he's a he's uh, no, I can't say that word. He's a he's a beaner. <laughs> but um yeah, and then when I met him like in real life, I'm like, damn, he's kind of cute. And yeah, he was one of my sides for a bit. That's it. But, yeah. <sighs> that was so rude. Don't call me a side. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Oh, yeah. It's like if, bruh, we were both talking to each other and we were both, we both had fucking other people to talk to, too. No. No. I never talked to any girl but you. Homie was literally talking to my friends. And I was talking to his. Because you have friends. I don't have friends. That was a joke. So who the fuck were you talking to? <gasps> <laughs> oh. Wow. <laughs> what was I I'm just kidding. To? I don't know. But yeah, um, that's that. Um. Oh, wait. We, we literally forget that we have fucking questions, babe. Someone asked, are you guys mean to each other when drunk? <laughs> um, no. I'm not. I'm <laughs> definitely not mean when I'm drunk. I'm not I'm mean. I'm super nice, bro. He's homegirl over here. <laughs> no, I'm not. So rude no, to I'm me. Not. No, I'm she not. She always. What? You're you're mean to me, bro. No, I'm not, you babe. Are, don't remember? Say that. Remember? Shh, let's go back in time. Shh, remember? All right. Wedding. Oh. Wedding. No. Wait, wait. In Colorado. Wait, 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 wait. Before he says anything, that was my first time ever, ever, ever blacking out. And we talked about this. And you said that I was Blacking even, out, though. And you said out, that was... Drunk. Even, she was so drunk. Oh, my God. But that one time when she blacked out, super drunk. Um, what happened? I can't remember. Oh, she needed to puke. And I was there taking care of her. <laughs> and she was just being mean. She was like... Leave me alone. I want to be alone. Nah, fuck you. <laughs> nah, I don't want you here. Go out. Ah. We were already outside. She, no, we were in the bathroom. Oh, we were in the bathroom? Yeah, you were just <laughs> screaming at me. Shit. And I'm like, bro, like, what the heck? And then we ended up, I'm like, all right, let's go outside. Take some fresh air. We go outside and oh my gosh. Became even worse. The beast came out even more. <laughs> Literally. But, um... Were they throwing up outside? No. No, you didn't. You well, didn't, but you were, it was fucking cold as dick, bro. It was. It was so cold, and we were out there, bro, and then... And then you just wanted to be left alone there, and but you wanted to, like, walk away or some shit. I don't remember this And shit. I, like, put you right there on the car, right next to the car. I'm like, bro, you gotta stay here and chillax. And One thing I do remember from that... Like blacking out thingy when we were outside. I don't know what ha what conversation we were having, but I remember I had red lipstick, huh? And you know, <laughs> had a white a white cam uh, camisa. Oh, he Miro had a white camisa, and I don't know what the fuck happened, but I'm like, 
you know what? You're not gonna wear this shirt ever again. And I kiss him. Man, I still have the shirt, guys. <laughs> he does. And he bought it like a few days before. Literally, man. Yeah. I wasted a hundred bucks on that <laughs> from just one pair of pants. Oh my that, god. That shirt. No one I asked shop him at, to. I shop at Louis. I bet a lot. Louis Prada and Gucci, bro. Yeah, okay. I'm sorry. Yeah. Alright, guys. Let's go back to another question. <laughs> um... How did y'all meet? Where did y'all meet? Because uh -huh. we have so many questions. Okay. Uh, oh. Oh. All right, this one. <laughs> what your dream job? What? What your dream job? Sorry. What's your dream job or career? So my... Oh, wait, no. Actually, you go first. Me? Yeah. My dream job is to break up with Nero and run away and get a new identity. Just kidding. My dream job is to have my own, um, my own, my own salon, my own salon. And I'm gonna be like those bad bitches who like literally like pamper you. Like, I don't actually want to do hair, but like I want to either be like an esthetician. I for sure want to be an esthetician. But I just want to have my own, um, my own salon, so other girly pops could be there, and we can all work together like bad bitches. And it smells like flowers and like glitter and shit, and like we could be list like blasting like bad bitch music the entire time we're there, and I can have like my cat chilling at work, you know. Like I don't want to have a shitty ass job. I want a dope ass job like that. I want to like work. Like I want to wake up and be like. I don't uh -huh. see some bad bitches today. Like, I want to wake up knowing that I could get ready and look like a bad bitch with a bad bitch sitting next to me and a bad bitch sitting in front of me. Yeah, okay. Nice career dream job. I like it. Yeah. You never told me about that. Yeah. Wow. That's my dream cool. job. I like that. Yeah. All right. What's your dream job? Thank you for asking. Oh! All right. My dream job, ever since I was a child, my dream job has been starting my YouTube channel. No. Yeah. That's not true. Yeah, it is. It's always been my dream job. What's my dream job then? No, but you said ever since you were little. When he was younger? Well, I was still a child. What? 12, 20? 13? No, you said... Wait, I was way no, younger. you said when you were younger, you said that you wanted to be a girl. That's not a dream job, bro. Okay, all right. That was... When crazy. I was younger, when I was a kid, younger, right? I always wanted to be a, a girl because I always saw that girls didn't work and the dudes worked. So I'm like, I want to be a stay-at-home wife. And it's gonna happen. Cause well stay at home husband. Cause Valerie over here is gonna be a archaeologist and take off makeup off of people I mean take off pores off of people. And I'm gonna be staying home. Nice. I like that. But yeah, um I've always wanted to do um internet. YouTube. Internet? Just YouTube actually. Yeah. I always wanted to yeah. But that, that's that. But if not, if that was like, that's the plan, whatever. But if not, my other dream job would be a stripper. Not gonna lie. I feel like stripping, stripping would be fun. Just like. Okay, you don't have to do it. All right, but yeah. And our last question of the night. What's our biggest pet peeves? My biggest pet peeve is Junior. <laughs> so annoying. Oh my gosh. But yeah, go ahead. You can answer. You can answer yours. <laughs> oh, my, my biggest pet peeve. What the fuck was that?
The fuck? There's just a car that passed by, but. Alright. <laughs> um, my biggest pet peeve would have to be. Mmm. There's a lot. My biggest pet peeve would have to be rude people in general. Fuck every rude person, bro. I fucking hate working with grumpy ass people, bro. Like, I deadass want to punch every single fucking one of them in the face. Can I even say that? Yeah. But yeah. But people are rude. People are so fucking rude. And people like, I hate the people who don't talk to you like a human being they just fucking talk to you like if you were a fucking servant. robot or a servant yeah and i'm like bitch i'm a fucking human being i'm literally just like you the fuck do you think i'm not gonna i'm not gonna respect someone who doesn't respect me i don't care how old you are bro if you're like 90 years old i don't give a fuck i don't give a fuck i will literally drop kick you bro mm, i want to get drop kicked by you i cannot do that you call me fat? Okay. <laughs> I call like, you fat, that's fine. bro. Well, whatever. But yeah. Um, that's that. All right. Yeah. That's all the questions or what? You want to answer more questions or what? Um, but all right. That's all, actually, guys. We ran out of questions and time because we have so much questions, but it's just so much, you know. So we instead... We're just gonna do another Q and A later on. You guys can answer more questions. I mean, ask more questions about us. But yeah, that's that. And I want you guys to comment down below who do you think is gonna win, 49ers or Green Bay? Green it's Bay gonna be Packers. 49ers for sure. Packers, for sure. Packers, 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 49ers, Packers. 49ers. But yeah. Comment down. Comment down. Comment down below how many times I said fuck in this video. And you whoever... didn't say it a lot. Really? Just like the first ever episode, you said it so much, but yeah. Well, All right. count how many... How uh, many... What the fuck? Swear words. F-bombs. No. Count how many F-bombs I said in this video, and I will Venmo you $10. Yeah. If you get it right, and you don't cheat. Facts. Uh, don't go back, because we know... When people go back into the video. Yeah. And watch what the it fuck? No, one's going to... Well... Fine, fine, fine. No, one's going to count it. The first If you time. guys go back and watch, rewatch the video, you got to rewatch it back every single... You got to watch it like and three times. And, oh, yeah. No. You go first. Oh, and like and comment all that, which seems going to win, and how many F-bombs Valerie said, and share this video Cheers. to all your family and friends mm -hmm. yeah also comment what what beer we like what beer you guys think we like i don't like beer fine fine also comment what makes drink out Comment what else? <laughs> They're gonna comment like so much <laughs> shit, bro. It's just one thing, two big bags, but yeah, it's una cosa, yeah, wait. I don't wanna play this game anymore. All right, just comment which team <laughs> is gonna win and how much F1 Valley dropped. That's it, guys, and share. <laughs> just share and like. That's all, okay. But yeah, thank you guys. Thank you guys for staying and watching with us. And going through our journey of Ooh. starting our YouTube channel. But yeah. Yeah. Peace.